Hey, what is going on, everybody? Rick and the Eye back here again. And today we're doing some more long range shooting with the M203. Um, really enjoying this weapon. Today we're on the Fei Lao, the uh, desert here. Um, I'm just going to take some shots here with this weapon, still using the Bodello. Um, really interesting fire on the Bodello uh, handgun, uh, mainly because it's a two shot kill, which I did not know until I started using it. Oh, wow, I cannot hit that guy for the life of that. Ooh, really? I'm surprised. So another thing that I want to talk about, look at this magic reload. Another thing that I want to talk to you guys today about um, is your suppression on this game. So if you guys have noticed that you have open shots that you're taking at the enemy with um, a number of weapons, um, any weapon from a sniper rifle to a um, marksman rifle, difference between the snipers and the marksman rifles, or a semi-automatic rifle such as one of your medic guns and you feel that your crosses are directly on there you're not moving only the enemy's moving or maybe they're even standing still and your shots are just not landing their mark um it could be most likely because of the new suppression mechanic here in battlefield one now i don't have the exact statistics of how they actually work and how um certain things can affect you in different ways but i do know that the suppression in this game is a lot different from other games so you're going to want to watch out for um, your shots just going just to the left or just to the right um, of the target and I've noticed that it goes like that a lot more often than not um, rather than just being over their head or an under or over shot it's more um, off to the right or left of your target and uh, sometimes you can get um, lucky and it'll actually hit them or you would have missed aiming directly on them with your crosshairs and the actual suppression allows your bullet to go either left or right in either an upward diagonal or downward diagonal fashion um, and you actually end up landing your hit that way so um, feel free to pay attention to that um, here in this video and uh, see if you can't learn a couple things about it see there's that two shot kill right there that I was telling you about can't believe I got that off um, but yeah I like to do live gameplays here and talk while I'm playing um, I could still use some uh, bit of uh, what would you call it come here dude Ah, oh, you got me um, other types of voiceovers could be effective as well, but I feel like live gameplay actually allows you to know exactly what I'm talking about. Because if I go back and do a voiceover over it, um, it gets away from some of the points that I'm um, thinking while I'm actually recording the actual gameplay. So um, you see some of these uh, really nice shots that I'm landing on some of these people, and it just seems like this rifle just really likes to connect um, at certain ranges, and other ranges it doesn't. And I discussed in the previous video that this weapon is um, one of the longest shooting rifles in the game. Um, the M1903 American rifle. Oh, I got picked off by multiple targets. Let me see if I can get it set up here. But the weapon is really nice for long range engagements. Mainly because it has... Um, granted, it's only one bullet, but let me just compare it here for you. So if you look at the sniper variant of this one, and we're going to go over here and look at it. It has 51 rate of fire. Um, 5 and 25 just like normal and his accuracy and damage are all the way up compare that to a sniper rifle the hip fire accuracy of the Gewehr 98 sniper is a little bit more on that weapon but at the same time it has one less rate of fire now whether or not that one rate of fire will actually matter um, it probably won't You're not, you don't even have 50 rounds to pop off but it, it doesn't matter that in that regard but it is a little bit faster shooting weapon so it will let you get a one more shot down range a tiny bit faster than if you were using the Gewehr 98 and the Gewehr 98 is one of my favorite weapons in the game oh, I know it was gonna so look at that one shot from the Bodello did 88 damage Let's see if this guy can revive me in time and I can pick that guy up with my pistol Oh, got okay. So one shot from the Bodello almost killed one target. That's that's almost a sniper shot coming out of a pistol. It's almost like a 500 Smith and Wesson Magnum from like some of the other games. Oh, this guy's gonna run away from me. Kind of gotta jerk your rifle a little bit more. Um, the higher zoom. I am running an eight times zoom again. Okay, we're just camping there, huh? Wait. For me. Um, some of the really nice things about these weapons is they do have bipods on them, so you can set up your bipods. I can't believe I missed. Um, I always try to get the bipod set up um, in an engagement like this because if there's multiple targets trying to hit me, let's see if I can get this guy with the one last shot I have. Oh, that was not a headshot. Push 
want to get this mound here. These rocks are really covered. Got that guy off me. See if we can take cover from behind here. So we're going to shoot a flare straight up. See if we can't mark some targets. Okay, so we got a couple guys here. See if we can just sneak up on him. He's going to pull his pistol out, so let's run away. Let's not engage him. Because when he does that, he's going to have the drop on me. He's supposed to be, oh god. He's going to get away with it. So one sh oh, I can't believe I missed. Got there, got him with the axe. That's an enemy scout. He's dead. Or not. There we go. Oh, we got stolen. Nice. All right. So we got a little bit of sniper support here. Can't believe I survived that engagement. I was trying to heal the whole time. So let's reload this really long reload animation here. This is one of the original 19 or 1800 single action pistols. Um, really fun weapon to use. I just really like that it's a two shot kill. I think, that's I think that was a collateral hit marker. There we go. Clean them up. I mean, I would say always, I'm not really someone who always aims for the head. If you can get a clean headshot and you're not going to miss once and then try to re-engage for the head, um, I would recommend the two body shot instead, of, especially if you know you're going to hit them. So that's just a quick little sniping tip that I can give as well. Um, some of the other things are just go with your gut. If you feel like you can uh, shoot them once with the sniper and then pop the last shot off with the pistol or two shot them with the sniper. No, no, how, notice how I'm saying sniper and not a uh, marksman rifle. Because one particular marksman rifle, as I mentioned in my other videos, the M9, M95 marksman actually allows you to get um, multiple shots down range without having to uh, zoom out of your sight. So that's something to keep in mind. And some of those also have really high rates of fire. Um, that one having a straight pullback on the M9, M95 marksman allows you to uh, get that really high rate of fire as well. We have lost objective Charlie. Enemy medic sighted. That's an enemy medic. An enemy armored train has arrived. It's a really nice rifle. Really good. You don't have to lead too much with this rifle since the velocity is so high. Now, again, I think the uh, I think it's an 1895, I believe. A uh, Russian one is definitely more on that one as well. It does kind of help that my zoom is so much. Um, again, I'm um, really trying to use the eight times zoom on this weapon here in particular because I feel like the eight times zoom um, really improves on such a weapon because it, it is said to be one of the longest shooting weapons without drop. So let's just take a test shot. We're going to shoot right at the B there and see how far it drops. See, it almost it almost hit the B. I mean, at least in the circle. And that's how many meters away is that? That's 267 meters away. So let's just test that one more time just to show you guys in perspective. So I'm going to take a shot. I mean, I'll even bipod up. So I'm going to take a shot right at the B. And it hits right at the B. See that? How it like at least hits that whole mark. I mean, that's about the size of a person standing a lot closer to you than their whole body. Maybe not 267 meters away, but um, it's a really good indicator. And again, I use the 0 or, 50 or 75 almost all the time. I never adjust my 0 unless I'm like focusing on a certain target that I know is going to be a little bit more difficult to hit. There you go. Gonna wait for this reload animation to commence. Too many shots right now. I noticed that my game volume was too loud in the last video I made, so I decided to lower it. We have We're not going to play this whole game here. We'll just uh, get a couple more kills. Show you guys some of the things that I'm talking about. Uh, I really should hit him right there. See, when they lay on the ground like that, they're running for their life. When, once they lay on the ground, they're so vulnerable that it's just easy to pick up a headshot or just a clean body shot that will basically give you the kill. So, I mean, I guess you could try to just keep popping shots out of Adam, especially um, when you just want to get that one hit. Because once you get that single hit on them, where they're at like 20% health, um, they're going to hit the ground. I do. And I know that that's, that makes you even more vulnerable, especially when you have such a high um, vantage point like I had right there. Oh, nice pickup. There we go. 
So we got one guy coming here. We got a couple guys over there. Reload one more round. Gotta keep your guns loaded. If you're gonna try to get kills, you gotta keep your guns loaded. I'm starting to like um, Conquest a lot more than Operations now because I feel like it's just so um, open. It, uh, I mean, obviously, but it's so nice to just um, run to different combat zones and just pick off people who um, didn't even know that you were even coming. Like, you weren't even in that combat zone. And then now you're there ticking them off, which is really nice. See, look at that. Really good spot to hide, but not from a sniper rifle. Or any kind of rifle, for that matter. Let's see what else we got here. A couple more targets. Okay, they got a train coming in. We're going to avoid that. Go check out really quick. People really like to hang out at E. I swear. It's a really good objective to take. There we go. There's a target. Up he crouched. Up oh, there it is. Got him. Okay, we got two heavy tanks. So we're gonna try to get cover from that. And we're gonna run um, over towards those rocks. Now this all this stuff applies for any class in this whole game. When you see tanks coming like that, except for maybe if you're in the assault class, you might want to engage that with either an AT rocket gun or um, use some anti-tank, either grenades, the light ones or the heavy ones. Um, to do yeah, engagement, so I hear it coming, so I'm gonna duck here. See if he doesn't see me, and then you're just wanna gonna you're gonna wanna avoid it in all cases, and then maybe spot it. So, so you're gonna wanna spot it for sure, so your team knows it's there. Don't be that teammate who doesn't um, allow your teammates to get the kill. Um, that's not a good idea because that thing could possibly turn around and kill you in the back. I can't believe I missed. So we're gonna see if we can do some damage here at E. If I can just find the targets. That's when we're gonna do this. So I'm gonna shoot it right at that building. Can they give me anything? Okay, that's because there's no one here no more. I don't know, every time I see um, how many targets are on an objective on the little bar, it tells you like which way it's weighing towards the left or the right, red or blue. I always think when it's half filled up, there's like multiple targets, but if you're the only person on your objective or on the objective you're trying to take, that means there's only one other person there. So you should be able to get an e easy kill, especially if you're sneaking up on them. Machine gun. <coughs> he actually bumped up my recoil into his head. That was kind of nice. I think I'm gonna wrap up this video pretty soon, guys. Um, Feel free to uh, ask any comments down below if you guys have any comments or uh, anything like that about how to use different weapons better. Um, one of the main things is, is just um, using it um, a lot of times. So use your weapons a lot. Um, I'm not going to say stay with one weapon only and then only use that one for the whole time, but it's yeah, more of a, a fluid experience of trying to experience multiple weapons at the same time um, and trying them all out in combination with each other. That's what I'm starting to do. It's like, a lot of people say that this game is um, limited on how many weapons they have. But um, if you just can get yourself into the idea or mindset that multiple weapon combinations will work in different situations, um, then go with that. So, like, just to show you a quick teaser here before I end this gameplay, you're going to see that I have the M1903 combined with the Modelo. And we then when I switch here, apples. I usually use a Mars Automatic with the Gewehr because it's a faster reloading gun, faster shooting weapon. And then the sweet spot one here is I'm using a carbine, so I'm using an actual red dot variant we of this weapon, as you can see there, instead of a sniper variant or any part that has a scope on it. All right, guys, this has been right in the eye here. I'm going to take off. You guys have fun, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield.